Okay, happy holidays everybody. Uh, here's an application that I don't know if everybody knows about on your phone of what you can do. So let's take a look at your Windows 8 phone. And uh, it's Christmas Day, so happy holidays again for everybody. And let's go ahead and take a look at how you can switch between running applications without having to go back and everything. So in order to do that, we're going to have to launch a couple. So I'm click on IMDB. It loads up fine. I'm looking at I'm watching IMDB. So I go back to my start screen and I click on Flickster uh, to take a look at theaters. And I go back to my start screen and I go look at the, uh, let's see, some, the weather. So we'll go to the weather and see what the weather is in the local area. Uh, so now that I have all those running, how do I get back to the other one I was, I was working with and everything? Because if I go back here to the menu, uh, I can go ahead and click on the icon again. But what it really is I want to do is I want to look at them. So if I press and hold this back arrow key, but hold it down, look at what you find. You find a screen that has the, all your applications that are running in the last state they were in. And that's important that you don't lose where you were at. So uh, let's go out here and take a look at these. And let's go ahead and shut some, some down. Let's go to IMDB. We're going to tap the back button. Now if we hold the button down again, you'll see that we only have two applications left running. So that's how you would shut down that application. So if we go to Flixer, and if we hold it down, there's those again. So let's go ahead and hold it and just tap it. And that exit Flixer. If we hold it down, we only have one application running now. So we take a look at uh, where we're at in here, and we're looking around. We back out of this. And now if we hold that button down this time, all we have is our start screen. So if we look at that, we go back and we launch IMDB again. And we go back and we see that we hold it down. That's all we have running is IMDB. So we go back to the main menu and we're going to now uh, launch Flickster. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the main screen and hold it down and see that we now have Flickster and IMDB running. So that with those two running along with showing your start screen as well. Now we're going to launch Internet Explorer and take a look at that. So we have Internet Explorer. So now we have three applications running. So it's a very important though that because as you browse the internet, you don't want to lose your places of what you're browsing to. So if you go back to this menu here again, and I go back to the tip calculator, and I say, oh, I wanted to come do a tip, but then I want to go back to uh, browse the web. If I use the interface, I'm going to lose my spot. But if I click on the running application, I'll still be on the same website, look at the same stuff. Let me demonstrate. We'll click on this article. Okay, and we see that we're reading this uh, article about Christmas and everything. Now, if I go off and I do something else, like I go look at Flickster, and let's go into, oh, let's go into the theaters, and we see our theaters there, and if we go to the main menu again and we click on Flickster again, we lost that place where we were looking at theater. So, if we go back into theaters, and we go to the main menu, we can go through here and you'll see that we're still at theaters. We haven't gone out and come back again. And there's the website. We're still on the website. We're still in our tip calculator. We're in whatever state the, the application was at the current time, that, with the time that you left it. So it's a very nice way of uh, browsing through your applications that are running and a very nice way to get back to where you were or switch between applications. So that's our tip for today.